Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. It's spring in Minnesota, but look, it's snowing. It's been so nice the last couple weeks with 50 and 60 degree weather, and I'm getting excited to plant my butterfly garden and start creating that habitat for this year's uh, butterflies. But here we are, a setback in April, Easter Sunday, it's snowing, and I just have to be patient and wait. So with that said, there's a couple things you gotta think about when getting ready for your garden in the spring. One is don't be too early about hacking back your plants and flowers from last year. So I've still got my zinnias up. There's still a lot of moths and cocoons and things overwintering that need that uh, protection so they can go ahead and come to life in the spring. So just be patient. It's also too, too early to plant. I thought about planting a few things already, but I'm glad I waited probably another month mid-May before we can go ahead and plant. I took this part of my garden over here. I planted a bunch of seeds in the fall for butterfly weed. I've got some plants here, some high sops that will come back this year. And then I did plant all my tulips for some early color. I planted those bulbs. I planted about a hundred bulbs. I actually covered them this morning before the snow started coming. We're going to get some freezing nights the next few nights. You can see some of the tulips already started coming up here. I had a people parts of plastic I covered them with. I covered a couple buckets over a couple of my tulips. So hopefully they won't die here. They bloom so early in the spring. I like tulips because they bring a little color to the garden early in the spring. They're not much for pollinators, but they do create a little color. I also have this part of my garden as I enter into my garden where I'll plant my petunias. So I'm going to plant some alisums. So in another month or so I'll be hacking down all these old zinnia plants from last year. Come on into the garden here. I do have this part of my garden. I planted a bunch of milkweed seeds last fall so I have even more milkweed. Again I've got butterfly weed. I've got purple cone flowers that I'm all gonna cut back here in a month or so. so. So there are some things you can do early in the spring as you're thinking about getting ready. The thing you can do is plan. So what are you gonna do this year to make your garden bigger and better? Figure out where you're gonna plant your annuals, what you gotta trim back. Try and do something new and special for 2020. It's a weird year with the coronavirus. It's time to bring some excitement and color back to your garden. Although here in Minnesota, April 12th, we're not ready yet, but we soon will be. So that's it for today. Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. We'll talk to you in a few weeks as it's planting season. 